Hi guys, and welcome back to Defying Bloxy. In today's video, we'll discuss Roblox, Squid Game tips and tricks to never lose. Let's head into it. Glass Bridge. This is the most difficult game of the group for us, mostly because there's no way to determine which path is the correct one. The goal here is to leap across the glass panels on the bridge, except one of the panels are divided into two parallel rolls, of which one is fake while the other is not. Furthermore, because there's no way to tell whether one is fake or not, players are frequently forced to take risks, and if they fail, it's on the others who will have to reap the benefits of their misfortunes instead. With the exception of sheer chance, we have no idea how to win this game. If anyone has any suggestions, please post them in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to raise your thoughts as well. Intermissions and lights out. For a few minutes after every few games, the players will be escorted back to the main lobby, where the lights will be turned off and they'll be permitted to fight one another with baseball bats. The goal here is to either defeat the other players or to live until the timer expires, whichever is the case. If you wish to participate in the battle, you may equip your baseball bat by clicking on the baseball bat symbol below, and then swing it by clicking on the right side of the screen. If you line up your swing perfectly, you'll be able to hit around surrounding adversaries, which will reduce their health by. As soon as a player's health bar reaches zero, they'll die and be eliminated from the match. This may happen to you as well, so constantly be on the lookout for any threats. Keep in mind that you can always detect when someone is coming, even when the lights are turned out, since their nameplates are visible floating in the air over your head. The push feature. The push action is one more point to mention in the context of Squid Game Roblox experience before we conclude. By default, this action is available at all times, and you may activate it by simply clicking on the icon that represents. Afterwards, you may utilize it by clicking on the right side of the screen in a manner identical to that of the bat. However, unlike the bat, the push does not cause any damage, but it can temporarily knock the target to the ground, which may be quite detrimental in some games. You can easily push someone to their death if you use it in the glass bridge game, and you can do the same thing in flood race game. While participating in green light red light game, players who have crossed the finish line can return to the track and shove other players who are still racing, making it far more difficult for them to cross the finish line. Remember, the play push action may be used in a variety of ways. You should 100% strive to make use of it in your advantage when playing Squid Games. This is either for the purpose of deterring other players from pushing you for the purpose of intentionally making them fail challenges, or other such. It's important to remember that a player who's failing is powerless. There are no second chances when it comes to winning at Squid Game Roblox Adventure. While there are several approaches you may take in completing the challenges and surviving all of the minigames, keep in mind that the most essential aspect of these games is to have a good time. As a result, we recommend playing it on a PC using blue stacks in order to have the best possible controls and performance. But what do you guys think about these tricks? Are they good? Let us know in the comment section down below. And this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you had fun watching it. Give us a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Also, activate the bell so you definitely won't miss any of our future videos. And watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love at least one of them. And with that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye!